Wow, look at that! Finally, something that seems remotely similar to summer has arrived. <laughs> yep, it took quite some time this year. Um, as a matter of fact, this has been the coldest June that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Um, Apparently, this is even a little unusual for the city here. Uh, which, if you don't know where I am, this is uh, Bergen, Norway. And uh, this is pretty much the city of rain. A uh, city with the most rain in all of Europe. And uh, you can definitely see that. Um, this is uh, June we had, well, it was pretty cool, let's say, um, for summer, I would even say cold, and uh, a lot of rain, and yeah, this is uh, the first day that we when I'm out, that I, that I would say, yeah, this feels pretty much like summer. And I am definitely not complaining. Not in the least. And, well, I am kind of complaining about the rain. Because that sucks. But as far as temperature is concerned, I'm actually pretty happy with that because I despise hot summers. And even today, when it looks like summer day pretty much, and the sun is out and everything, um, it's still, it's not hot. I would, I would describe it as pleasantly warm, um, but uh, not really hot. And I like it that way. Hot summers pretty much kill me. I can't take them. Uh, I'm very sensitive to heat and the sun as well. Um, even, even if it's just a moderately sunny day, I'm walking around squinting all the time because my lights are... Uh, my lights. My lights are sensitive to eyes, yes, indeed. My eyes are very sensitive to light. Um, and uh, I'm getting sunburned incredibly fast. It's ridiculous, actually. <clears throat> if I'm, I don't know, half an hour outside in, in the sun, I would always already have to expect a sunburn and uh, on several occasions I even had heat blisters from the sun which was very uncomfortable so uh, the sun pretty much hates me <laughs> or my body hates the sun or whatever I'm really suffering in intense summer heat. For me, ideal temperature, that would have to be, I don't know, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Mm, swamp. This is also pretty common in this area, which doesn't surprise considering the humidity. Not the most pleasant thing to wade through. Camera recordings. In a way, they are kind of an odd thing. Or at least uh, the human perception behind it. Um, have you ever experienced uh, the situation in which you uh, 
let's say you're on vacation or on, on some sort of trip or I don't know experiencing anything um, that you are uh, also taking pictures or videos of and um, at that point you you were maybe too distracted or you know, or it even seemed kind of stressful so maybe at that point it wasn't all that enjoyable or, or not as much as, as as it could have been and then later you have a look at those photos and videos again and the memory of it is is much more positive actually so you're kind of enjoying the moment afterwards in in memory where uh, more than when you actually experienced it which is kind of strange This is a very nice uh, environment, but uh, I have to say I've gotten a little too used to it, I guess. It's, I don't know, when I look at it, it's like, yeah, okay, it's nice, but it's nothing special anymore. It's kind of disturbing to see how you get desensitized to almost everything. That's probably a lot of fun, at least if you're confident enough in your skills on those things. You know, it's kind of weird. Back when I was living in Germany, in a <laughs> surrounded by a rather unimpressive landscape, I would probably have killed someone for this environment. With fire? I would have killed someone with fire, yes. <laughs> Um, and now, well, yeah, I still think it's beautiful, but it's not so freaking special anymore. Karen and I will be moving in uh, about two weeks, and maybe the new environment, the change, will be stimulating enough for me to be uh, a little more interested. Who knows? Hopefully. But, uh, you know, the, the, the sad thing is kind of that I know after a while it will be but just the same. At first, when we moved here, we were eager to, you know, explore the, the area and so on. But after a while, Sure, on the one hand, it's helpful that we get used to things. That way we are not staying in anxiety <laughs> because of negative change, whatever. But it is kind of kind of sad to see that that kind of a uh, mental shift in yourself that things just become common and maybe even boring after a while no matter how exciting they were they were at first maybe it's just me what do I know but I don't think so I'd, I'd rather think that this is a 
common human experience and probably also one of the reasons why many relationships suffer in later years because after having lost that initial spark, the initial passion and excitement uh, what's left if you if you don't base the relationship on um, complementary nature for one part you just have to you know go well together and uh, you know sharing your entire experience together such things if it's just about the you know, sex appeal and passion and so on at first. Uh, so it's very unlikely that something like this and uh, the relationship lasts. But yeah, whatever. I'm just ramblish, so let's uh, stop this right here. <laughs>